He's a rogue, all right, notorious for his flamboyant lifestyle. Flashy clothes, fancy parties, fine women, and fast cars. You should from now on address me as the mayor. If ever a man and a municipality were made for each other, it is this man, this place. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, care folks, what are we talking about today? Man, today is the big day. The big debate between the prosecutor and the felon. Yes. Did you know that Kamala Harris has been endorsed by Dick Cheney? Yeah, Dick Cheney has come out of the caves and threw his full endorsement behind Kamala. Former Republican Vice President Dick Cheney will be voting for Kamala Harris in November. That according to his daughter Liz, a former Republican Congresswoman who has endorsed Vice President Harris herself. Cheney served as VP for George W. Bush from 2001 to 2009. The staunch conservative was also a longtime congressman from Wyoming and had held several leadership roles in the House Republican Caucus. Cheney has previously called former President Trump, quote, a threat to our republic, end quote. In response, former President Trump posted to social media last night that the former vice president was, quote, irrelevant and the king of endless nonsensical wars, end quote. Now, you know, Dick Cheney was one of the lowest rated vice president that we ever had until we had Kamala. New NBC News reporting reveals Kamala Harris holds the record for the worst vice presidential rating in NBC polling history at a net negative 17 points. Yikes. Harris spoke last week at a 2024 campaign event for abortion access. Let's watch some of her speech. But let's always take a moment to also see what we have achieved thus far while we clearly see the moment that we are presently in. So he comes out and he endures Kamala for president, the warmonger. Yes, yes, Mr. Warmonger Dick Cheney, who loves to go around and give third world countries democracy. Yes, this guy here, his daughter, also Liz Cheney, the one who just lost her seat in Wyoming. Yes, she's supposed to be a Republican also. Con uh, fiscal conservative. Those two fiscal conservatives, the Cheneys, has thrown in their support for Kamala. And as a conservative, as someone who believes in and cares about the Constitution, uh, I have thought deeply about this. And because of the danger that, that Donald Trump poses, uh, not only am I not voting for Donald Trump, but I will be voting for Kamala Harris in this election. Oh, oh. Not to mention, we have Mitt Romney. Yes, Mitt Romney has come out and endorsed Kamala. And now to the race for the White House. More than 200 Republicans who worked for both former President Bush's Senator John McCain and Senator Mitt Romney have endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris for president. The group penned a letter saying in part, democracy would be, quote, irreparably jeopardized by another Trump administration. Now... Funny thing about Mitt Romney, when he wanted to be a senator in, uh, what is it, uh, Utah? He wanted to be a senator. He's just coming in. He went and asked for Donald Trump's endorsement. He practically begged Donald Trump for endorsement. He went in. He had his knee pads in. He comes 
and slobs the knob, pause, no diddy, and Trump says, okay, I'll endorse you. It's my honor, real honor, and privilege to endorse Mitt Romney. Donald Trump has uh, shown an extraordinary ability to understand how our economy works, to create jobs for the American people. The moment he won, he took out this big old knife and stabbed Mr. Trump in the back. Not just stabbed it, he stabbed it and twisted and twisted and twisted. It's still twisted. Yeah, Mitt Romney has endorsed Kamala for president. Jeb Bush, don't forget Jeb Bush, y'all. Jeb. I think the next president needs to be a lot quieter, but send a signal that we're prepared to act in the national security interests of this country to get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. Yeah, this guy here, he too, Bush, has endorsed Kamala. And everybody, all the media are clapping like, look, we have these Republicans endorsing Kamala. What do you think? What do you think? If, if the Republicans here, these bloodthirsty Republicans who love war, if they're going to endorse Kamala, you should too. Because Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. Yeah. Oh, not to mention, we also have Mr. Putin. Mr. Putin has come out and said, yes, Kamala is my girl. I wish she wins. As for the favorites, there is no need to define that. It's a choice by the people of America in the end. I've said that our so-to-say favorite was the acting president, Mr. Biden. He's been taken out of the race, but he advised all his supporters to support Mrs. Harris. That's what we'll do. We'll support her as well. That's the first thing. Secondly, her laugh is so expressive and infectious. That means that she's doing well. Yeah. So that's all that needs to be said about Kamala's presidency. You got all these neocons, all these bloodthirsty warmongers, war criminals that want her to continue the status quo. So, yeah, I can't wait for the night's debate. I can't wait to see how the media is going to spin this. We already know Kamala won, all right? It is right now, what, 5 o'clock? 5 o'clock Eastern. I haven't dropped this video yet, but we already know the media is going to say what a great job Kamala did, all right? And Donald Trump looked old, and he looks distracted, and he mumbled his words. We all know this. We all know what the media is going to say. Kamala won hands down, all right? So that's what I'm here for. I just want to see how big of a lead you got after this debate. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell Kamala I said hi. <laughs> you go, girl. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get your ass off my lawn.